Okay, this video is about using simple machines formed together to make complex machines and complex machines together to make robots. In this highly technical demonstration, we used a lot of cardboard tubing uh, from paper towels, toilet paper, really anything. Um, wrapping paper used to have it, but now it's just rolled up paper in the middle. And e pipe cleaners like these. In this case, this one doesn't have any mechanisms inside it yet. Uh, it has been decorated by my son, who found the gold paint. Inside, let's say you wanted to move this arm up and down though. You would use some kind of lever mechanism. And it would have, let's see, this is the hand holding onto the pulley to do the work. But inside the joint, in the elbow, you would have these gears, or something like it, where's my worm gear? One of these, if it's not enough room to fit that gear in there, you do something like that, and the movement of this up and down would then turn that gear, which would then turn the arm. And if you wanted to lift and raise parts of it, that would, well, that's still the same thing, or, uh, if you use a bunch of levers together, say I had uh, some connected in like diamond shapes together, you'd squeeze them like scissors basically. So that when you squeeze together two parts at the bottom, notice how it closed this part too? And that's because those two are both levers that are sandwiched together. If you put enough of those, uh, then attach another pair here and so on and so forth. Uh, that bit of linkage will actually do like most uh, car jacks and it will lift and raise things or spread things apart if you wanted a very complicated wedge. And let's see, wheels and axles are usually used for robots to roll around factories delivering uh, whatever they need to move from point A to point B, either delivery robots or just giant arms that are moving like car parts from one stage to another. And let's see, for screws, that would be another example of like this right here. So you can use it for very fine precision or to add tension to something to say make a robot hand of levers and wedges tighter or looser. And for levers, uh, well those are actually integrated throughout the entire robot. Every part that moves based on that would be a lever. So that is the glorious example that I've come up with, uh, with the help of my son's fantastic decorative abilities. Try making your own.